God damn it. <laughs> what is going on, everybody? We are back for episode 14, and we have a, a new guest here. Who is this? Who's that? Yeah, who are you? It's me, Kalo. That's it? That's yeah. it? That's it? Where, where can they find you, Kalo? What the fuck? Um, at Kalo Fit on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube. AKA the VIP. And that's, then that's an to o, her not right. A. Kalo, oh, not Kalo. Kayla. Yeah, so everyone always asks me the question, yeah. where does it come from? My full name is Kayla Logis, so oh. it's the first of my first name and the beginning of my last name, Kalo. Cute uh, nigga shit. All right, Sky. <laughs> Sky Reeves, I've been here before. You Holding should know. It down. Hold you, should you, know. you should know. <laughs> and then we got the country girl to my left. <laughs> what up, y'all? So, no, sound like a girl. <laughs> No, it's Trixie. <laughs> yeah, yo, if you guys, you guys probably, if you guys are watching it here, you definitely have seen this on on a TikTok, and a Trixie got destroyed. I she got hate, fucking roasted. Okay. Destroyed. Little boys they're on like, TikTok. They're like, why did she speak up? Tell her to shut up. Yeah, <laughs> they're yeah. like, why is she selling a man? They were all like L girl too, and I was like, shut the fuck up. You guys act like you know my life. You've seen a five second clip of me. No, it wasn't even my real voice. Shit. Anyways, did you rehearse that, boy? Did you rehearse that? <laughs> No. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, Trixie's gonna see this and she's gonna cry. I, she's you know what? Dumb, She'll never do a podcast. Again. Yeah, I was like, fuck this, whatever. <laughs> Shout out to my haters, I love y'all. Speaking of this, this is actually a yeah. great. I didn't even write this down, but like, at what point? At least for me, I reached like a point to where did you just stop caring about like what Ooh. other people said? Because like my first back when I made my fitness Instagram or I turned it into a fitness Instagram, I had like 3,000 followers. I would pay big boy. these big, you know, type <laughs> shit. You feel me? I was a cute <laughs> nigga back then. You know what I'm saying? I would pay this uh, like account. It's called like Truly Shredder or whatever to post my transformation because it was insane. And then people would be accusing me of steroids and all this shit. And I was going in there talking about their mamas, their grandmothers, <laughs> their sisters. I was talking hella shit. Like, fuck you. You don't know me. I was like, you're just mad because you look like shit. And then, like, it reached them probably, like, wow, like, saying eight replies of people, even in the DMs. And I was like, you know what? This is a waste of my time. I was like, I'm, I'm battling with someone that, like, I'm not going to win. Someone's going to come back at some point with a screenshot of some shit you've said. <laughs> Dude, I remember it was, like, my first, like, meal prep video that went viral. I think it had, like, 5 million views or something like that. And these people were literally commenting about, like, I use fucking bat Uncle Ben's ready rice. People were, like, hating on that. And I was like, okay, I, I just realized people are literally going to hate over anything that you do so yep. why why should i give a Every, shit everyone has an opinion yeah so at the end of the day it's like i i have my days though like i have my days where i see something and i am lit and i'm like oh like what? yeah like, like what? you started yeah, like, yeah. Give like, us an example. i don't even know just stupid shit like what? give me give me an yeah. example like like the, the tiktok i posted about like the whole tripods and alpha land like i posted that like because it was just like funny and like people were going in on me like people were, like Oh my God. Like, first off, there's a side of people who were just mad at me for posting that, like making fun of people because I'm a content creator myself. That wasn't what I was meant to say. And then you have another side of people who are like, people actually do this. Like, y'all are just full of yourself. Like, y'all think you're fitness influencers. Like, I'm like, you know what? I don't even know what I okay. just started. They here. will literally hate on everything. You can't do anything right, you know? Are you sure about that? Yeah. Oh, well, mine's on the ground. It's mm -hmm. ours, man. Right? Y'all are weird. Right. Oh, never mind. That's yours. My sound there. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for interrupting. What about you, <laughs> guys? Did you have like a moment where you were just like, all right. It was probably after like six or eight months of like doing content. It, it hit a Damn, point. Damn, that fucking long? Yeah, dude. I used to care so much. I mean, I still post it regardless, but like mm. I finally hit a point of just being like, fuck it. Like people have something to say no matter what you do. Like whether it's good or bad, someone has some shit to say and they hate. And it's usually just jealousy. Have you yeah. ever, have you ever, have you ever like clap back? Yeah, yeah, for like sure. with like reply yeah. videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah with the comment. I, and then they end I've up deleting their comment. Once. I yeah. only did it once, and I violated the kid. Like I was like oh, pissed God. off. It was back in the natty days too. So don't even say <laughs> it was like roid rage. I, I made a video about me shaving, like my arms and my legs, and he said I was like feminine. I lost, I lost my man card. I was like, bro, uh, I, I fuck more shit. girls than gay <laughs> past, bro. Like who the fuck are you talking? To? It was some little ass kid. Let that nigga know that. <laughs> shit, was, shit was not sweet. I was like, get the fuck out of here. Well, the, the more you argue with people, the more, like, you just get furious. Like, you get so mad. So it's like you have to get to a point where you just you just can't respond. And like, it's always the people with, like, two followers and no profile yeah. picture. Right? But, like, like, those are the people, like, when you respond, like, they'll delete their comments. Yeah, yeah. Or they'll, yeah, like, they'll they apologize and start acting nice. Yeah. Like, they'll flip like that. Yeah. There was somebody. So funny. There was somebody who commented, and they were like, man, I can never record myself in the gym. I literally went to their TikTok, and there was a video of them recording themselves. Oh, my <laughs> God. I was like, at what point does that make any Yo, sense? Yo, you know one of my favorite things to do is, like, see is, like, when someone talks shit about you, and you click their profile, and it says follow back. Like yeah. Yeah, I'm like, you me, following me and you're fucking like, hate on me? God. Nice. On God. We're like, it's just like, they talk some shit about like, 
being a content creator or whatever. And then I go on their post. Yeah. They're over here doing their transformation videos. I was like, Yo, you want to be me? What the fuck yeah. are you doing? Yo, speaking of this, I just saw something uh, literally yesterday. And these girls were on a uh, podcast. Like, they were talking about how kids nowadays, like, the number one job that they say they want to do when they grow up was, like, YouTube, TikTok, like, mm -hmm. influencing. And um, some guy in the comments, he was, like, some doctor. And he was like, it's just so sad how it's changed. And he's like, influencing is not a real job and stuff like that. And it's it like, real bills. Yeah. yeah. It's finna buy me a real ass car. <laughs> in a couple weeks, so I don't know about that. It's like that. that older generation just doesn't get it. No. Like, it is, it, it is a real job. For real. Like, I wouldn't, like, I was just talking to you about, like, what I wanted to do. I was, yeah. I was getting my, I wanted to get my doctorate in physical therapy. Like, I would not be making the money. <laughs> the money I'm making now, I wouldn't even be making if I was doing that. Like, yeah. Exactly. Heard that. Yeah, like, people don't understand, like, how much money there is in it. And, yep. like, I don't even crack of, like, compared to some people. Mm -hmm. Like, there's some people that everyone knows. If you knew how much money they were making, you'd probably throw up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like they make more money. than you make a year in a month. Yeah. Like, it's ridiculous. And some people make literally, like, six figures off of just, like, one uh, platform. Like, one yeah. income stream. Let alone all the other ones yeah, that they may have. Yeah, or, like, one sponsorship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's, like, and, but the other side of that, too, is there's, like, Everyone can get, anyone can like blow up. Yeah. But like, there's a lot of people that haven't figured out how to really like monetize themselves and yeah. truly like make a living off of it because they don't treat it like a business. Mm -hmm. It's like the moment you start looking at it as like a business. And all right, what can I do to, how can I make money off of this and how I convert? And you start doing marketing. Yep. Like I like marketing. I sent her shirts. I sent you guys shirts. Yeah. Why did I do that? Because you're going to post it on your story and then your followers are going to see it. And and I've, had, gonna I've had so many fucking people ask me about it. I was like, I literally said his name. Like, do you want me to? Like, Those are like the worst questions. That's what when I'm you get them in your, you where you're like tagging like where you got your shirt from, and then they ask where did you where, get your shirt from? Where did you get that from? What size are you wearing? Mm. Oh, it just says it on the post that you replied mm. to. No, sorry, that's a little off. Yeah, no, sorry. No, sorry, <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, like, it's marketing, like PR marketing, stuff. Like, like everything is like it's done. Like yeah, I'll do like videos, but there's a lot of time. There's a reason why I do certain things yeah. like the way I do, and obviously I'm still trying to get better at it because the better you get, the more money you can make. Yep. But like, mm -hmm. you need to be able to like. It doesn't matter how many followers you have. It matters what you do with the following that you have. Bro, look at E. Mm, you should have ended on that, no? Huh? You should have ended on that. I'll, I'll come up with something. <laughs> give, me time, give me time. Give me time. Give me time. Yeah. But yeah, like E, like he doesn't have the biggest following, but like he's making a good amount off of social media because of the way he markets himself and like what he's doing. It's one of our friends. He has a yeah, uh, clothing brand. Like everybody eats, and then he sells like coffee as well. Yeah. I feel like I've heard of it before. Do you drink coffee? Yeah, big coffee like, drinker. Like, uh, do you like... Like the coffee bean, like the grind. I don't know. Was it grind? Coffee? I don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> beans, what the fuck is that shit? Bean. Raw coffee? Yeah, it's just beans. I just got an espresso machine. <laughs> hey, so, so like, if he send you a grinder, would you take some coffee? Because I could get to him to send you some coffee. Um, I only have an espresso, you know, like, I don't know. Yeah, like that white girl stuff. I don't know how to like. Oh, she just does the pods. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Not the most. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. I, I, I don't know. No, 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 no. But yeah, like he, he does like a good job like marketing. But it's just yeah. like, I don't know. There's just so many people that like, and also too, people get confused. Like there's content creators and there's influencers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want to make money, you need to be an influencer. Yeah, you can make money as a content creator, but you need to have numbers out yeah. the ass. Yeah. You need like millions and millions and millions of views. That's where you make the money as like a content mm -hmm. creator. Because you're getting paid to like, all right, I want you to fucking throw this healing mix in your video. We're going to give you five grand. Yeah, literally. And your video is going to get like three million views. But mm -hmm. like, you don't need to do that in order to make, you can make more money with a lot less following, just having like a solid ass following. Doing like the influencing. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Talk to your fucking audience, people. Yep. If I go Don't on your page, you if I go on your page and I don't see you talk to the camera at all, like no one's going to fuck with you. You can't just it shows trends. personality and everything, so it's you like people can resonate trends. with you more. That's I why that's I like YouTube because of that. Yeah, people can same. See who I actually am. It's not just a skit. It's not just a shredded picture. Like it's this is why I fuck with me. Kayla. You know, we're besties. <laughs> we just met. You know, yo, not, not, not you got that boost, YouTube bomb. Not to boost, yeah. not to boost your, your ego because I know you're VIP. It's high there, but you are one of my favorite people in the fitness oh. industry. Oh, Thank you. there's not Thank like you. I'm. A, I consider myself a super genuine person, and there's not many people that I find that are like on that same level. Thank you. No, like I said on the way here, I like a genuine. Genuine, being genuine and being yourself is everything. Like, if you can't, again, you're not going to be able to build a following, one, and two people aren't going to fuck with you. Like, mm -hmm. you have yeah. to be yourself. Like, you have to put it all out there. Um, and I think that's why, you know, I've created a community like that. And I don't know. Thank you. That's so sweet. Gotcha. Met you like 30 minutes ago. I'm, now I fuck with you. <laughs> hey, man, I only bring around good people. Y'all should know that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Jay I'm does. I'm fucking with them, the good people. Also, this is this to go along with what we were just saying. Some of y'all are just not meant to be content creators or to be influencers. Mm -hmm. Like, I hate to None break your heart. Some of y'all don't want to hear it, but. I hate to break your heart, but, like, some of y'all, like, I can just look, and I look at the content, it's just, like, you're just not, like, 
not cut out. I'm I'm feast mentality. There's enough for everybody. Yeah. But like some of y'all, I don't care if you got fucking five hundred thousand on TikTok, you're just not cut out. Like you're just not. You just don't follow up with it. Like you haven't monetized. You're not doing shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you had that opportunity. You fumbled the fucking bag. I'd say everybody in this room is cut out. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I was honestly. You no, know, everybody gets a shot. We just a different caliber. Yeah. We that we that fifty cal. I was thinking about this um, as I was driving up here four and a half hours for you guys. That's what I drove for, for this. Me. She did. But uh, as I was driving, I was thinking. I was like, you know, when my TikTok. My can you please shut up? When my. <laughs> <laughs> when my TikTok. Oh. Oh. <laughs> God, Jay just banged his head. I, just let me know when you're ready. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> when my TikTok blew up, if I didn't have access, if I didn't have my coaching application and everything out there, I don't think I would have been able to monetize myself. Like, because I had already a coaching platform and I had an opportunity for people to apply to work with me, because my TikTok blew up, I also blew up financially with work. So it's like, yeah. if I didn't even have that, sure, I would have TikTok numbers, but I would have nothing else. Yeah, you know and you I mean? don't need kind to be like a coach, but that is a good yeah. way to convert your followers. It is kind of piggybacking off of that. A lot of people, I will look, like I do want to say, is a lot of people think that like with influencing or social media, it's one income stream. It's multiple income mm -hmm. streams combined into like one pool. You want to be yeah. successful in life, you need to have multiple. Yeah, you yeah. Regardless, like, how many how many how many income streams do you have right now? I think six. That's pretty good. I have like seven or eight. Yeah. What do you have, Trixie? Probably six. I'd have to count, but it's probably like somewhere. Well, probably like six or seven. Yeah. yeah, just like guessing off the top of your head. But I'm starting to finally like, like, uh, uh, what's the fucking word? Dabble? Decrease like my oh. dabble. No. <laughs> Decrease like my the sponsors. I had I uh, begin. I had a shit ton of sponsors that she I was wasn't even by like twenty companies that I wasn't even like really promoting. And I was like, I gotta stop doing. Yeah, this. that's the other but thing. But you too. go through that in the beginning. Yeah, because you're, like, you're, you're like, like so excited, yeah. like, you know. Yes, yeah. yeah, you like want everything. Shit. You're like, yeah, yeah, but now it's like. That I just want the main ones, you know, yeah. that are actually bringing in a lot of money. And they fuck with you and you fuck yeah, with Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, like, you're going to, and that's another thing, too. Like, if you guys have noticed, if anyone out there is, like, started posting and you get a little bit of following, you're going to see you're going to get shit in your DMs. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, you're <laughs> and like, like, bro, right like, when you start. I turned down so much shit because, like, I don't Same. really fuck with it. Or it's like, I don't think I could sell that. Like, yeah, I'll use your product, but I'm not, my follower's not going to, someone wanted to send me, a, like, this Subscription of of these dope ass knives. I was like, fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. same. But like, like, but the like same who the one. fuck is gonna buy that shit? You're like, oh, Jay, bro. Like, that's not. I'm not in in fucking Bear Grylls TikTok. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm in. I'm trying to get super duper swole. You know what I'm saying? But like, there's that, and there's also like brand loyalty. Brand loyalty is everything. Mm -hmm. Like the amount of companies I've turned down, like supplement wise, because of how loyal I am to like KJ and V1. How long have you been with Ghost? Uh, so I signed officially as an athlete with them in. Uh, November 10th of 2020, but I've been affiliated with them on like a lower level for at least two years total, but an athlete with them for about over a year. Loyal. So like three years in total? Yeah, probably. I've lit I've been with them from the start. Like I, I've always utilized their products in the beginning. I started sharing them, tagging them. Um, and the crazy part is when I was tagging them and I was trying to be like legend of the week or something they do. And I ended up being Legend of the Week the next day I met my now manager, CJ. So it was like, it was meant to happen. That's like, crazy. It was super wild. So yeah, it's just that loyalty. I mean, a lot of brands love that and along with your community. Like I've been sharing Ghost since the beginning. So my community will always go for Ghost because of that. That's so how it is like, with me. Because I've been with Rise for going on to three years now. Yeah, you've been with them for a I while. Earned my, I'm the only athlete that earned their way from the affiliate program mm -hmm. through sales to mm -hmm. an athlete. Oh yeah, that's everyone exactly else, what I did. Everyone just got signed off a of clout. <laughs> Oh, this got awkward. What does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> Not the one with the fake freckles. <laughs> Skylar, how do you feel about that that fake freckle shit? What do you think? If it makes her happy, it makes her happy. I'm just trying that to be okay. I, I, have, I have that mentality on like that's why I don't some people get pressed over what other people do sometimes. I was like, bro, it's like I don't I don't care. I don't care like what politically you're into. Yeah. I don't care what gender you like, what shapes you like. It doesn't fucking <laughs> what matter, shapes bro. You whatever. Like. I love triangles. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you like, do you. Like, whatever whatever makes you happy, bro, as long as it doesn't affect me, so. Yeah. That's what I wish. Not the same way. I wish everyone uh, thought like that. I really don't understand, like, why people, like. Yeah, people get pressed over that shit. People get pressed over things that have nothing to do with them. Nothing. I know. Like, like, it's like, how is this going to affect your like life at all? Relationships. Like, relationships on, like, TikTok or on Instagram. Like, yeah. y'all break up, like, the drama that comes with oh, that. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy. You want to talk about drama? Mm. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Let's that, talk that's about right it. right here. Uh -oh. We're on the podcast for that. Hey, all I'm saying, for everyone that said that, uh, 
They wouldn't let me date their daughter. My ex texted me that she's never had anyone treat her better. So oh, just let it be hey, known. Hey, just let it be known. Hey, that Jay, I'm that guy. Jay is a gentleman. I will just say let it that. Be known. Even with he opened the door for me. Of course. Like, damn. The Jay, corridor. Of course. Jay, is of course. A, Jay is a gentleman. Come on now. Agreed. Sometimes I'm, I'm meant to be in the sheets, even though I dabble in the streets. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Period. DMs are going to get blown up now. I hope so. Hey, somebody <laughs> run it up. Y'all know where to find me, at Jaylene Fit. You know what I'm saying? If I don't respond, don't take it to the heart, sweetheart. It means you're ugly, probably, if he doesn't respond. <laughs> it just wasn't the move. I'm sorry. <laughs> or you don't have a funyata. I Either can do one. without the funyata, you know. You know, it's not a funyata and everything. It definitely helped. Yeah, it you helps. know what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, Jay. What? <laughs> I wouldn't say my ex had a funyata. Oh, all right then. All right then. <laughs> exactly. Wait, what case is closed. Oh, you don't know what a funyata is. No. Oh, oh. Say, hold on. Say it, funyata. <laughs> hey, get nice and close to the mic for this one. Funyata. <laughs> funyata. Funyata. <laughs> run it one time. Tell me what it means. No, no, say it. You run it one time. It say we, it. we all say it. What are you throwing up a rock stars? Run that shit. <laughs> yeah, just run it. If we all say it, it's not bad. Right. No, that's a fucking lie. What do you mean? It's not I'll like I'm say saying it. the N-word. No, yeah, I know. I would have been saying it. Funyata. There you go. Hey. No, 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 no. What do you no, no, think it is? What does it mean? What do you think it is? Hey, lower your tone. <laughs> say it like a Karen. Say it like you mean it. Funyata. I don't know. Honestly, like, I just instantly thought of, like, an ass. But exactly. Yeah. It's, a, it's a fat it's ass. A fat ass. <laughs> so if, you just, if you just hear us yell out Funyata, you better be on the lookout. <laughs> hey, I, I'll be in the gym, and like I'll see a girl, and Jay's on the other side, but, like, Funyata. <laughs> and if you hit it with the Funyata, you know that shit just fat. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know Jay's hitting that. Head turn real quick. Shit. Sometimes you guys have the pre look. You see Shardy walking from over here. You see it. It's a funyata from the front. So I'm gonna be looking at investigating some shit over here. I was good with these leaves and shit. All of a sudden, funyatas right there. Playing that all super duper smooth. Man, is that dust on the floor? Shit. Uh, what what language is that? It's not. It's a made up word. What? Yeah. I got it from. I David. thought it was his no, 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 it's, fa- it's made up. No, like no one knows what it means because it's not a real word. I got it from David. That's why Damn. we can just scream in the gym. <laughs> That's no. that's better. It's like a code word. Exactly. Have you tried looking it up before? It. I don't even know how to truly spell it. Yeah, I, I spell it is just the way that I run with it. I don't know if that's actually how you would spell add, it. I go off your spelling. Add an accent to the end, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funyata. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man. Y'all, y'all bring that. Hey, anyone listen, y'all bring that to wherever y'all stay, man. Tell your boys. Make it hey, make it a trend. Yeah. Honestly, just be like, yo, Funyata. Oh, the oh it's no. a hashtag on Instagram. Have you used it before? Uh, maybe. It might be a picture <laughs> of my Funyata. Probably not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Funyata on the guys valid? Mm, I don't like guys with too big of an ass. Yeah. To be honest. It shouldn't, yeah. I would, I, would I like uh, big legs. Hell yeah. Big ass. I don't know. Yeah, like ni- a nice ass. A nice like, ass, yeah. But not like oversized. I feel like you two have good asses. Not too big, not too small. I bet you my just ass is bigger right. than yours. No, it's not. We could bust a, If I had the tape right here, we'd measure that Yo, shit. we just measured Tracy's the other day and mine. What they were surprised. I was at 44. Mine's 43 and three quarters. Fuck, mine's 42. Ah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Type shit. Yeah. Damn. You don't know yours? No. I can also Fair have enough. the tits in a relationship. That's too, that's cool too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's your chest size? Dude, I need to measure it again. It was a 44B a while ago. Oh my God, Jay's got some tits. Oh. That's not that much. I haven't measured mine in a while. What are they at? What do you think? <laughs> Is that a normal I think it was thing? <laughs> 38C. I'm in the 40s. I don't know what that means. Either yeah. do I. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what it means. I don't pay to... attention to that. Stuff. I can't remember the last, the last time I wore a real bra. Thank you. That's I, what I was about to say. That was uh, about to say. High school, maybe. Yeah, for real. What y'all be wearing? Sports, Sports bras. bras. No bra. What, or they nothing, just small, yeah. medium, large? That's how they run <laughs> yeah. those? Medium, yeah. Small, medium, large. Yeah. Well, fuck. <laughs> I ain't know that shit. Yeah, they just run it by size. So what you think? I'm a medium? I think I'm going to need a large. I, mean, I, I think say, because of your large. Because you're lats and everything? Yeah. You're a large for sure. Definitely with the lats. And y'all got a large? I run that shit hard. No, <laughs> hard. I think I do. I will run that shit. All right, bet. That'd be good. That's a good TikTok. That'd be funny. Yeah, Just you work, can wear my out uh, in you it. can wear my booty scrunch no, 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 shorts you can, too. Wait, wait. Okay, so oh no, <laughs> what am I gonna do? I'm about to fucking <laughs> bring about it. We'll just take it from the back. What? No, no, no wait. Whoa. The picture from the back. Whoa. Have you seen? Have you watched the Netflix series Cheer? I don't no. watch Netflix. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Some of the some of the guys are wearing like sports bras. So. 
technically you can wear a sports bra in the gym and they can't like yell at you for being shirtless because we wear sports bras in the gym. Yeah. Well, guess what? The gym I go to, I can just be shirtless. Yeah, we well, can take your shirt off. Oh, yeah. Oh, you cool, can't do that. You can't do that. Where you're no, from? I fucking can't. Oh, I'm, oh, just saying, oh, oh, huh. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Is she on test? She's a little aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, she, she have this a could rage. be a funny tick. That could be a funny TikTok. It could. You know, y'all really are always, y'all are always like, what should I create? Mm-hmm. What should I create? Here I am. I have all. I mean, I would rock the scrunch shorts, but just know, yo, the front of that motherfucker. Jay, we should dress each other. My ass looks fat. Some scrunch shorts. Oh, my shit's probably. Bro, when I rock awesome. my when I rock my <laughs> the pants I had on yesterday <laughs> and the Lulu pants I have, oh my god, bro, I'll be looking at myself like, God damn boy, what you doing out here with all that ass? <laughs> what you doing? Double cheeked up. <laughs> on a goddamn Sunday afternoon. The sun is still shining. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh fuck. Heard. Heard. <laughs> I wanna hear I wanna hear well, we were talking about Ix the other day. What are what are some like Oh my god. <laughs> Excuse uh, me. Are you, are you an Ick person? Have you heard of, do you do you get Ix by guys? Yeah. Have you seen those those trends on TikTok where it's no. like how yeah. I got the ick? Do you even go on TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> Do you you're, know what TikTok you're is? Me. <laughs> you're attacking me. No, I've actually I've never heard of it. Okay, you've so you've never heard of an ick? <laughs> she said <laughs> you're attacking me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never heard of it. So like when you like are talking to guys or fucking guys or that too. You know. Like there's is there ever been a thing that is just like a tiny thing that just threw turned you, you away, like, like turned you away for them, good? Yeah. Uh, like there's maybe like the way they chew or there's like the way you chew or there was one where it's like they turn around and you can see their butt crack if they're getting out of the car <laughs> that's a fucking Sheesh. ick or if there was one where it's like picturing a guy jumping up and down at a concert or it's like the weirdest shit it but could be like, the way he drinks water uh it's literally anything yeah I don't know, mm. honestly. Like I ooh. now you're gonna get the ick all the now time I'm gonna now think you're gonna be about like fuck it. okay I what about, about red it. flags oh uh. Skyler, you can chime in on red flags on guys. Late, I mean, girls. <laughs> being late is a big fucking red flag. If you don't care to be on time for me, then you don't care to be on time for life. Like, I love that. I love that. Um, also, <laughs> Skyler's <laughs> always late. Oh, my, all always my roommates late. are always late. I'm I'm always late. late. Right. They I don't have a concept of time. I'm on black people time. What you Boom, talking I hate about? that. I hate I that. I cannot stand that. I'm just, like, if I'm you're just on time, you're late to me. 100%. 15, 10 minutes early, that's on time. Yes. What's the rush for? I'll be making it on time to the shit that matters. Yeah. Well, apparently we don't matter then, huh? What you talking about? <laughs> what about late? I'll wait. I'll wait. I don't know. That's that's a that's a big red flag for me. Uh, other than that, I don't know. I feel like just like being funny, like being if you, if you're not funny and you're just serious all the time and you don't have a personality, like just go away. Yeah. yeah. Just please, just don't. Even try. It sounds like, all right, fellas, y'all got to be cute niggas all the time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got to be punctual with your timing, laugh. too. You know what I'm saying? God. <laughs> Trixie probably got a boatload of red flags. You, be, you, you know she your, does. Trixie's been in her bag lately. Hard. I know. Hard. Fuck. I don't know. what. I Okay, I'm at that age, though. I'm 24 years old. How old are you, kid? 26. Oh, fuck. You're older than me. Okay. Mm-hmm. But, like, back home, like, are all your friends, like, getting married oh, or having 100%. babies yeah. or, like, getting engaged? Yep. And it's, like, I. it's not like I want, I, I don't want to get pregnant right now. I don't want to get married right now. I don't want to get engaged right now. But just seeing that mm-hmm. and then I've been down bad. Oh, that's their life. Fucking Wait, so is it just making you, like, sad? It's, like, making me, like, I'm, like, so is it, it's behind. Making, and it makes you life. feel like you need to be in a relationship. And you need yeah. to, like, try. You need to force things. Yeah. And like, yeah. That's their yeah. life, though. I feel that. But, like, I, what I say, like, because I always get asked all the time, like, are you in a relationship? Are you dating? I, I always say I'm married to the game. That's just what I say. A nigga like time. me, I love the game. <laughs> married to the game. I'm feeling like one of them ball playing niggas, like Bird of Magic or something. You need to chill out. <laughs> you know, a nigga can lead a <laughs> <laughs> But if I lead the game, are they still going to love me, man? <laughs> I can't. No, you can't force it. Like, you be, I, know, I, I know. I'm not, not going to lie. I look at some of your texts. I'm like, shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, you be all. I swear to God, I peep Trixie. She'd be on her shit swipe, sometimes. Swipe, swipe. I'm like, Trixie, get the fuck off of Tinder. All that Bumble. Shit. You ain't going to find Prince Charming on that motherfucker. Yeah, you're not. You're not. That's not the move. I A lot of them are just looking to fuck. Yeah, I just get bored. It's not like I've. Re- I haven't. I think I've swiped right on like three guys while I've been here. Dead ass. And I think one of them was Jay. Th- One of them was me. Three in five months. Uh, yeah, liar. I haven't. I've matched with like Lying three people. Bitch. Prove it. <laughs> oh, we got um, what? Wait, three I, in total between all the apps. Well, uh, she's smoking dick. That's yeah, a damn she is. Lie. Are you on any Skyler. dating apps? I'm. I've never. I'm not active on any. I've never actually had a Tinder account in my life. Um, I have a Bumble and I think Hinge, but I've never like I've never on them ever. Like I think the last time I was when I was in in Atlanta, but 
Yeah. That's a long time ago. I just don't, like, I really don't care to do that. Like, at what point am I just going to see a picture and see some stupid-ass bio and be super interested? Like, I'm fucking not. Yeah. Like, sorry. Okay, that's valid. But you might be like, yo. <laughs> it's valid. You might be like, yo, that's a buzz down. I mean, I don't I don't know. I might be like, yeah, he's hot, but he probably fucking sucks. Like, I don't know. I just don't. Like, I'm not okay, open. I'm not open to it. Like, you either, you meet me and we click and it goes great, or that's it. Like, I don't know. Like, that's just. You're never on demon time? Me. No. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Because don't you get also, you get asked this a lot and you've made multiple videos. Everyone thinks you're a lesbian. Oh, yeah. It's because my style. So, and the crazy part is, is, you know, I, I used to get made fun of for the way I dress. So I grew up with two older brothers yeah. and I literally stole their clothes and wore their clothes. Like I never wanted to wear dresses. I never wanted to wear that shit. Mom put me in pink tails and I was like, fuck this, right? I hated it. So being made fun of for the way I dress my whole life and then having a, a community now that fucks with the way I dresses and mocks the way I dress is amazing, but it does lead to this, like, stigma of, yeah, like, people she thinking that I'm a lesbian. <laughs> and that's not the truth, right? I'm straight as fuck. I've dated all males. I've never hooked up with a woman in my life. And What's your type? I'd love to know, because you're... Yeah, you're hit the us body. with your type. Yeah, let's hear it. Uh, I don't know. Like, I've, I've been asked this before, and I didn't really know how to... I mean, I guess, like, there's, like, a couple of things. Like, I, I love, like, facial hair is a big thing for me. Um... I mean, obviously, <laughs> yeah, ever since ever since I got into bodybuilding and like this. Show. What about <laughs> Jay caught up, man down? What about what about my hair color? Uh, uh, every single one of my long term relationships, I've been in three relationships long term, and they were all like a blonde, dirty blonde with blue eyes. Um, and so, and, and I don't think that's like my type. I think. I, I, don't, I really don't think that's my type. I don't look for that. I just look for, like it's all about the personality. Like, yeah, pers a person needs to be attractive to me. But if I don't, if there's not the same energy, I just, I, it's not going to work. Like, it's not. I don't know. So facial hair and it, you got to be like muscular. Like, I, so I don't want to say this. Nah, no, talk no, your shit. Talk, talk your shit. shit. Say it because I, I know what you're going to say and I agree exactly okay, with you. Okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> So I've, so I've been, you know, obviously, you know, my ex is very muscular and, um, who is your ex by the way? Uh, Dan, he's ex, he's my, uh, co-business owner as well. And so sounds like a great way to get caught up. It's, <laughs> it's, it's crystal clear. It's good. It works well. But, um, from us splitting, we split a while ago and, and since we split, you know, obviously I've done my fair share of things and, um, I ended up, you know, hooking up with someone who was very not like not no muscle no muscle right not much uh and <laughs> hooking up with this person i realized wow i cannot go back <laughs> wait they weren't good in bed is that no what? no it was good in bed but <laughs> like i'm like what do i what do i hold on to like, there's, nothing, there's nothing here and i was like i was just like wow she like, wanted she wanted to grab shoot a, a back. dick tricep you know <laughs> i thought he said dick <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I didn't like them. a dick tricep <laughs> Ride you, them fucking lats, you know what that I'm just, saying? That helped me, though. I was like, damn, okay, well, now I know, you know. Hey, okay. she wants to grab on some cap delts just right there. You know just, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Well, she understands. Just, oh, yeah. Hit the she chest. Hit the chest. Rock solid. <laughs> <laughs> Down yeah. the abs and they're bubble bubble. My, I, like, my actual exes were so skinny. <laughs> yeah. And, uh. Not the move. Not the move. Yeah, it's like, wow. It's not like, the move. And everybody's into skinny boys these days. No. I'm like, not, the not the move. Y'all must have Get y'all thick thigh, motherfucker. True. That's what y'all need. Yeah. Like a crush you with these fuck, you know what I'm saying? Put your head between them and it. <clears throat> Let's chill. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> You're on the wrong podcast for that, girl. Not, ain't no chill. We just push, 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 push around yeah. here. That's all it is. Scott, we've talked about your type. How's your, uh, you were talking a little shorty. <laughs> oh, he's caught up. Caught up hard. I told him not to be caught up because... I think it, he's it, just gonna end up getting hurt. You can't get yeah. caught up when the motherfucker don't live. Don't let, yeah. Yeah, no. don't let someone take away from your hard work. Right Yo, now. Jay, 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 what you so giggly for? I don't think it's. No. A, he thinks it's a big deal, but no, I do not I, think it's. It was it's just a, so awkward. All right, all right. Listen, 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 listen. He's caught up. Listen, 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 listen. Really? We show up to the party like right off the bat. First of all, like, I give her a hug, dude. Fucking arm all the way around the waist. I'm like, oh my god, skinny ass waist. Doesn't matter. Anyways, clearly it does. We yeah, click, clearly it does. Yeah, it does. We click right <laughs> off the bat. Like we're talking six, seven hours straight like mm -hmm. from the party back to the airbnb like just non-stop till three in the morning the fucking the night's coming to an end <laughs> and i just think it's just awkward the way like everything ended mm -hmm. it's it's not bad like tracy says it's not bad i know it's not bad but the night's coming to an end and like we're walking up to the door because she's like gonna go leave and i just fucking i felt awkward because there was another athlete there 
another girl athlete. I fucking adapt the first one up. And then oh, I turned to Ellie. Up? That's what we're on. <laughs> I turned to Ellie and I just hit her with the no <laughs> fucking dap and give her a hug. And that was oh, it. dap to hug. Well, it was like a dap and then the one arm hug. You know, like you dap with the right arm, and bring the arm. Up. Nigga, what do you want, bro? That's I got move. a fucking nervous. Oh no! Did you mean to just say bad. her? Did you mean to say her name? Who? Didn't you just say the name? Yeah, you just said her. Oh, uh, did I? Yeah. I don't care. It don't matter. <laughs> I was just, like, I was just like uh, make a note of that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, it, don't it, it ain't no bleeping on this. It's one take. You uh-uh. fuck. Oh, I know up. it's one take. You slip bam, bam, up. Bam, bam. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's tough. You can't. Like, Shit happens. Like distance could work, but like, there's no point in getting no. caught up over distance. Don't no. do it. Don't do it. Not, I've done not, that not sure. the move. She no. cute though. Yeah, but there's a lot, that, of, a lot of people. People. That doesn't mean everything. Nigga, I'm cute. No. <laughs> no, I mean, true. Yeah, true. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you can't get caught up over that. It's just like not. No. It, I, it was just the way we played. It was like a movie scene. See, you got you to gotta make a power couple. Power couple is two people that are very independent mm-hmm. and that are killing their own in their own lane, but then like click together. Yeah. Like you got to be like, I'm very like, especially now, like I sit down, like I talk to a handful of girls. Not as much as I used to. It's a yeah. little less just because I'm just more busy now. But like, it's just like, are you fueling my flame? In any way, shape, mm-hmm. or form, or are you just kind of like catching the warmth of my yeah. flame? Well, the thing I do is like I get fucking I get caught up for a couple days, and then after a while, I'm just like, all right, they're not benefiting me, so yeah. I just, just kind of like, cut all communication. Like, 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 obviously, like it's easy to find someone that will fuel the flame like emotionally. Like, oh yeah, it's someone to cuddle with, someone like you know, but like no, no, like outside of that, like long term, like yeah. are you making me a better man? Mm-hmm. Are you gonna make me a better man having you like, or is it just like? Are you just going to catch the warmth from my flame? And that's the battle that I go through. Like, before I ever get caught up, because I'll just put up the wall. Yeah. And it's like, all right, let's figure out. Like, are you? Because I need, I need someone that's on their shit. Yeah. Because I'm on I my just, shit. I got big dreams. I just don't, talk, I just don't talk to anybody. That's, yeah, I'm that's at that easy. point. Like, it, like it, in my eyes, like, it's, it's going to happen when it happens. Like, and if I'm on my shit and I'm doing everything I need to do, then it's it's gonna come. Like if if not, then like fuck. I don't know. I was meant to be a cat lady. I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> like, Yo, fuck her cats, by the way. <laughs> no, they're so sweet. No, they're not. Not to move. <laughs> I hate cats. But but I mean, I feel like it just that's that's how it should be. Like think of how much time you're wasting. Like you're giving you're giving a piece. You said a handful of girls, right? So if you if there's a handful of girls that you're talking to, you're giving each right each finger is a percentage of yourself that you're giving to this person. Think of how much that's taken away from you, your time, your business, and how much you could be exploding upward until you meet that person that's at the top. Damn. Exactly. My Period. Job. Except I don't give that Great much job. time to, like, it's you're until, still it's still, give, it's until, you're until oh yeah, there's some right time. Now, no, no, there's definitely, obviously, time that'd be fucking impossible. But, like, to, like, the point where I'm going to sit on, like, FaceTime or some shit like that and, like, truly develop, like, most times it's just like, all right, I'm trying to splack. What do I got to do to? Then just be straight to the point. Oh, you want to talk about straight to the point? <laughs> I'm talking to the CEO. Okay, I'm just making sure. Yeah, Honestly, Jay is straight I'm, to the I'm point. I'm blunt. I'm yeah, blunt. Because that, that's yeah, just like if you can have that person or two or three, whatever, I don't know what you but you, but oh. if you can, <laughs> right, then that's easy for you. You both can utilize each other for that, and it could be nothing else. Exactly. Here for so. a fun time, not a long time. There you <laughs> go. Here for a good time, not a long time, but same thing. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know, whatever it is. I'm just trying to get trying to get active. Yeah, stay, <laughs> stay, he's on that stay demon focused. Time. Stay focused. Demon time is a great time to be on. If you know what you're doing. I'm going to say nobody, nobody <laughs> said anything. Uh, well, well, he, the problem, okay. What, what's the body count? Whoa. Yeah, you're on the Out of Pocket Jesus. Podcast. Everyone else has shared theirs on here. Oh, yeah? All right, then go around. Mine's 21, I think. It's 21 or 22. You're at 21 now? He said, I think. Yeah, it's either 21 or 22. Yeah. Well, the thing about T is, like, she can't hook up with anybody else now. Because um, she's matched her number. Yeah, on, mine's on 19. Medias. So I'm Trixie 19. So I have to stay at 19. Damn. Yeah. So I have to marry whoever, one of my numbers. <laughs> Damn. That or you just got to oh. recycle one of them. What kind of <laughs> fucking logic are we on right now? Yeah, I feel like that's like a magazine. You open the magazine and it, like, tells you who your, like, husband's going to be. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. That's how I feel like you're on right now. No? All right. What, what's your number? Three. Three. What do you guys think my number is? I want to hear. I feel like you're... Uh, I nine. Like you're, nah, I feel like nah. she's a little demon. Uh, I say like five. No, I bet it's not. I bet, I bet it's you're 13. Nine. Six. Oh, I was oh, close. Five. Fuck. 
Oh, oh my so bad. Close. You have, <laughs> you have, you have to understand. I've been in like I've been in all three of my relationships were super long. Mm. So it's like I've never really I like I don't even remember the last time I like went on a fucking date. Me either. Like that's why I mean, like when I told you like, I was gonna take you to Applebee's. You <laughs> <laughs> that's why I don't really know my type. Two for because, twenty. Like, I don't do that. I don't know. You tell every girl that, Jay. He <laughs> <laughs> told fucking, me that last week. <laughs> <laughs> this week. Funny because the waitress Applebee's. at Applebee's is like, hey, <laughs> hey again, that, welcome back. That, I walk in, I give her the nod. She knows the <laughs> <laughs> she no, knows not to talk 20, about last two week. For <laughs> two for 25, we can get dessert. <laughs> You know, well, yeah. I'm going to take all my roommates individually on a date, mainly for YouTube content. So if you want to be one of them, yeah. I, can, I can throw you in, yeah. All right, let's do it. Let me put you in the rotation. I'm down. <laughs> the rotation. <laughs> so like, oh, he just made it sound so bad. It's, uh, the rotation. No, no I, I just, I mean, there's content that gets out of it, but right, also right. maybe a good date. Well, so is, going back to red flags, we were talking about, is body count a red flag for you? Uh, I feel like it can mess with my head. So, so if it's somebody who's like long term, if I like I see a future with, I think that yes, it could really kind of fuck with me because then, and that's not me. Th- there's probably some insecurity in that too, but I think that having that thought of damn, this person has been with this many people, like that that could just mess with my head. I don't know. It has it has in the past, and that's why I'm saying that. You know. Really. Yeah. Damn, I don't know because like. I, it hasn't ever bothered me, but I, that's what also what I think. I wouldn't say mine's crazy it, crazy high. Not for a guy, I wouldn't say. Yeah, a guy, a guy at his caliber, you know. What I'm, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's just like I feel like when I like start talking to a guy, I like don't want to know their number. Yeah. like I don't bring that up because because it's affected me in the past. I don't care. To yeah, know. I don't. It's care. Like, why do I need to know? It's I like don't. this is in the past, and I don't give a shit it's, right now. Yeah, that is, that is that is a valid point. A lot of people focus on the past. Yeah. I mean, the closing line of the fucking the last podcast is literally like oh that. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah focusing on the past. Like it's not yeah. about the past. No. I care more about where someone's mind is at and like what you, what are your what are you trying to do? Yeah, right? yeah. And like yeah. what. Like, bro, everyone's, what you got, everyone's got a closet full of skeletons. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, everyone has done some things like, fuck. But, like, you don't need to go fucking digging that shit up. That shit's not the move. Right. Yeah. Sky, would that bother you? What, body count? Yeah, you get with this girl. She's fucking dime. She's had 40 dudes run through her. Goddamn, 40? Yeah, she's damn. No, it wouldn't bother me. I might feel a little intimidated at first. Yeah, but because you feel like you me. have to hold up to this, like, you're like, It'll be like, damn, 40 dudes, and then uh, I gotta, like, lay down some great <laughs> dick. <laughs> some great dick. Like, hypothetically, if T and I were to ever hook up, I would be intimidated by her. Hmm. Hypothetically speaking. We didn't hook, we've I'm never hooked think up, I'm just I, saying. Have you ever been intimidated, T? By someone else? By, yeah, like, like, a guy? Yeah, like. Oh, by, like, a body count? No, like, you're, like, gonna go sleep with someone, like, you know what's gonna happen. Yes. You're, like, intimidated. Really? Yeah. I feel like that's well. Are you like are you intimidated normal. by the person or the number? He, <laughs> he was like, um, he was like Mr. Mr. International, <laughs> so I was a little intimidated. Mr. International. He's like a model and like all this stuff, and I was like, I was very intimidated. It looks wow. match up to his performance. Mm-hmm. Oh, good that's good. That's great to know. I would just be intimidated by the number. Um, Not the look. I don't know the number. I don't ask them. I don't ever know. I, feel like I assume things. I assume numbers. Their lifestyle can say a lot. Yeah, about yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, that's yeah. where you can get the read, and then that's where you can kind of get like, fuck, like, like college. Like you heard rumors all the time about like other guys, like how many girls a guy has slept with, and that happened, and like that was kind of intimidating. But like, I was always fucking blackout drunk. So <laughs> yeah. love that. I love Not that. The that move, no. Not the move. Not the move. Party girl. Yeah. Party girl. Oh, college was party crazy. Girl. <laughs> Colleges. I don't know. I think the only situation it'd have to be is if it feels like some like milf or some shit. Just because I was like, <laughs> this bitch been fucking since I came off the mm. womb. Like I gotta, I gotta bring my A game. I gotta lay down the best dick I've ever laid in my life. I feel you like said, that would, I feel like that would hype you up. Like I feel like you would have a second of that, but then you would be like, fuck yeah, oh like, yeah. Look. I mean, especially as I start running that shit. Oh my god, it's raps. You when you're when you're sitting there eating baby food, she was out there guzzling sperm. Nigga, I yeah. was getting pushed out, and she was over here. <laughs> Sucala mink, you know what I'm saying? Get to it. <laughs> this is this 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 one. This transition right here is is, is requested from uh, our supporters. They want to know what's the best fucking experience you've had. I still think define best. Best sex, I guess it'd be like best sex you'd have. Hmm. It either be tough. more recently, like really recent, or after I broke up with my ex, my very first ex. So it was technically my second body, call it first, whatever. But we dated for 
four years. First girl, fucked after that, bro. I, I thought I was in a porno. It was fucking <laughs> the best thing ever. Jesus. Things were happening I didn't think actually <laughs> happened. I thought it was only in the movies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This shit was a great time. Oh, wow. To Jay's, this day. Jay's living, Jay's living a different life over there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. You got, to, you got to live life. You know what I'm saying? You got one life. You got to live I can't it. even think of it. I would say, I mean, although... <laughs> You know the story of the second, gr- like the, the the second girl. Don't bring that up. No, 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 I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> I run all the the hair. Hair. Oh no, no, oh, wait. No, I, talk, I talked about it on the podcast. Well, fuck it. You gonna talk about it now? Oh, he, uh, is he got his but whatever. Dick yeah. Like, oh my god. She used That'd her be teeth. Worst experience. No, no, yeah. no, no. I'm just no, no, no. I, but this is why I'm saying it's the best because that was the first girl I hooked up with since my ex. So like that was like a point of like finally just being over it. Like, mm-hmm. be my ex and everything that we went through. Because I went through a lot, so much shit with her across six years of dating. Mm-hmm. So, it was, like, the first girl I hooked up with after all that, it was, like, a finally, like, a, I'm over her and I can move on with my life. So, she just, like, she, like, bit you and you were, like, fuck. I gotta no, sh- no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Kayla, do you want the story? <laughs> hey, you don't she, have She hit him with that, that, that to, scrape, she, scrape 5,000. For, like, 45 minutes. <laughs> She went. <laughs> Ima- imagine a dude eating you out using all teeth, no tongue. You not gonna take that hey, shit in forty five um, minutes. No. Fucking you teeth. You gonna hit that motherfucker straight down center field with a jab. Yeah. Fucking teeth you down the shaft and like at the top, like little little bite at the top. It was. I'm fucking like wincing. Ch- yeah. I woke up the next morning like I went to go pee and it like burned. I thought like, okay. damn, what's going on? Okay, that just made me think. Fuck. Or like it hurt, and I was like, I looked down, black and blue. This is like ass because there's only one other guy on this, and I and. Clearly, you haven't had that much fucking head. <laughs> but I need the guys listen, bro. When a girl like fucking deep throats, that shit is fucking painful. Yeah, bro. Like my she did. Shit, yeah, she did a couple times. The back of her throat is not comfortable. Hmm. Like, bro, I've had it. I was like, it was almost to the point where like, yo, you're my shit's gonna be numb. Are you one of those guys that pushes girls' heads down? Yeah, I want to see if I'm trying to find I'm trying to find the one to fit it on her mouth. <laughs> Oh, wait. <laughs> 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 All right, this is what Azor says. So, like, when are Kalo and Jack Talon becoming a thing? They oh look like brother and sister. Oh, right, what's so this? They look like the girl version Less of Marco Let's just address sometimes. this because, honestly, like, I've already I feel like it. you get it a lot. I get it all really? the time. You Especially because Shali, Shali posted the picture of us, like, on the Naka page, like, me hugging the back oh, of him. Oh, and the fucking... Oh. Yeah, the photo shoot. Yeah, so... We're literally brother and sister. Like I step see brother him, and step sister. No, they <laughs> literally like they they're like You've that's their relationship, us. but They've they like look us. like they're brother and sister. That's, yeah, I get asked that too. But no, like I like I I love the kid. You know, we were talking about the way I love the kid. I'll support him in whatever it is. Um, and it's just he needs some guidance sometimes, and I just happen to be there. And you know, I'm a lot older than him, so to be able to help guide him, it, it means everything to him, and it, it helps me to kind of see. See through in a lot of stuff that I go through too. So yeah, like he's a really, really good friend of mine. So they're not fucking sorry. We're y'all. not sorry, guys. Hey, hey, to, hey, hey, to break it to you, but sorry. that's that's not the way. KJ, he's, in, he's into really tiny girls. I would really? say I like to. I have muscle mass on me, so you know. All right. So. You, okay, <laughs> this actually. Hold on, there was the one. Where is it? Okay, this was a question. I think I think you got it, and it was: Do you find it's hard to date because you intimidate guys? And I guess we could answer the same question. How about person. you? Yeah. How about I don't think. Well, I would have to. You'd have to ask like not a, a gym bro. I feel like like a gym bro like you guys because you guys want to date like muscular girls. You yeah. Know? Well, no, no. Or I'm is not, there I'm asking y'all? Well, if you feel like guys are intimidated, I don't think so. But I, but I did get okay. No, fine. I'm gonna like I'm gonna bring up Tinder. Okay. Bring up Tinder. The one of the guys that I matched with. Oh yeah, one, one of, the, of three. One of the one three. One of the guys I matched with said <laughs> he said. He said, "Damn, baby." You he said, fuck. "No, he said he, you look like you beat up boys." And he might be into that, so. Yeah, maybe, maybe he is. <laughs> and then he said, what would happen to my health if you found out I was cheating? That's kind of a red flag. Oh, that nigga, nah, he's got kinks. <laughs> hard. Okay, but then she goes, I kind of like that. <laughs> I like toxic. I'm into it. I'm not going to lie. I like toxic. I All I know is toxic, so. A dude could just sit there and, like, degrade her, and she's like, I'm no, so into not this. not that toxic. He'll sit there and you call you a, a bitch and stuff, and you're like, I'm so into this. Dude, I had, I had a girl. Cause like I, I try to form, I try to like please or whatever. I had a girl say that she was like into that, like she likes being degraded, and like I, it just didn't feel right. I feel like but that's like a red flag. I, I ran yeah. it, I ran it for. I mean, I was just hooking up, but like yeah. I was just like, I was like, damn. This Did you call her a bitch? Right. What'd, like, you, like, what'd you call her? Yeah, you call- suck that shit, you dirty fucking slut. <laughs> like, that's an ick. That is an ick right there. <laughs> I was like, I, she wanted sure. her. I degraded, damn. and she wanted me to like hit her, but like I was like, oh what? Oh, in the yeah, face like, or something? Smack. I was like, what I can't do that. Say the at. Say the at. That's daddy. Issues. I, can't, I couldn't do that. I gotta see what this I, I, I could like, never do yeah. that. The, d- okay. 
I'm sorry, but you I, I'll show you guys. I'll show you, you guys. Okay. As a side can do. But what about you? Uh, Especially when you're you're dice and you hit your. Yeah. So honestly, <laughs> that's a hard part. I mean, honestly, when I'm when I'm very shredded. But the thing is, is I don't pay attention to a lot of people. So when I'm like that focused and I'm that shredded, like. I literally don't see anything else but my fucking self. Damn. Um, and so I don't really know what that is, but I have asked, um, you know, like my ex it, when I was shredded, like I was like, was that like, was that attractive? Like you could fucking see every spindle of my muscles, my like bones, everything. Um, and I've heard it wasn't attractive. Yeah. I, I've heard from many men. It's not. Yeah. I'm, I compete and I don't prefer like that look, obviously, yeah. It's never, yeah. but there's girls that, me at fucking 6% body fat don't fucking, there's veins every fucking mm. wear. Like, I look like a fucking dick skin. Like, there's girls that don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't prefer that in guys. Yeah. But, like, it's just, like, a, a temporary thing. Can I ask, this? if this is too personal, fair enough. What the fuck, does anything go on with the coochie when you get that fucking lean? Like, does it no. change shape and shit? <laughs> <laughs> it change shape and shit. Nothing? Everything's no, I, I completely lose my tits and my ass, typically. But other than that, I'm fucking shredded. How is, like, the... Because I know, how, obviously, how the guy's sex drive is, like, on private. How's girls? Uh, I would say it's it's pretty low, too. Like, okay, I mean, so it we, does drop. we don't really have much fucking food. My energy's going to cardio and training, and then I literally... Okay, I didn't know yeah. if it would maybe be, like, opposite or some shit. I don't know. No, I feel like, obviously, you know, like... I mean, yeah, good five wait, Like, question. we have our time of the month, you know, so, like, that, your hormones are a little bit higher. You're probably more turned on then. But other than that, like, I would just be like, go the fuck away from me. Like, no, I can't. Not to move. No. Not to move. That's I'm why. focused. Yeah. She's locked the in. The natty days being shredded, that shows the worst. Now, I don't want to go fucking work out. <laughs> Jay's always horny. <laughs> always. 24-7. Jay's always, always on always. the demon time. Always. I got, more, I got more testosterone, on the testosterone than all three of you guys combined. Yes, you do. Sheesh. I don't even know what my test levels are. You should probably run blood work, eh? Uh, uh, mine was 1,400 before we upped things. So. I feel like mine naturally so You're sitting high. pretty high there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. So I say I'm a... Say word and I'm there. <laughs> yeah, Jay will sit there. Jay will sit there like jokingly make like the handsome. You know, oh, like, every if, any sexual joke I make, I will follow that up with action. Yeah, Anything like I say, if they're I about it, like up. Jay's gonna follow that. And up. If you're about it, psh, come across my plate, run that shit. I, I may not push the envelope because I don't want to <laughs> make face. Because I don't want to make someone feel uncomfortable. T was thinking about me the other day. You didn't hear, <laughs> hear Snapchat story, man. Whole seat was soaked and shut. I like, spilled man. my energy drink and I had like three swipe ups. That I, know, I was right there. She was talking about you. No. And then just, I was like, damn, T. <laughs> you know, it's got to be the freckles. I don't fucking know. <laughs> it's the natural freckles. You know, yeah, is. the natural freckles. But yeah, this is like, I'll make the jokes because yeah. one, that's just like my personality. But so, you yeah. would, so you're saying you wouldn't make the jokes around girls that you wouldn't take action on? Of course. Wait. Wait. I'm yeah, so I would not. Oh, like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I was like, okay. hey, I'm confused. Yeah. Like, some okay, fucking grenade, that. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that fucking shit. This is not the <laughs> move. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Fair it's enough. just like I will follow it up with action. Cause I can take it as like a face value. Cause there's been people that I have hooked up with and <laughs> Actually, still, I would agree still with can that. act as like friends and you would never know. <laughs> like I, I could tell you the per- people and you'd be like, Y'all fucking something? I was like, Yeah, pretty valid. And yeah. you'd have no fucking idea. Cause I can take it as just like the face value. Yeah. But like some people can't take it. I'm the same way. Like, I'll drop like those jokes and shit uh, to the people that I would. You ain't doing nothing, this guy. But, I, but, <laughs> but <laughs> pipe down over there, man. I'm, ju- I'm just saying. Oh wait, I'm just I did have. A, I have a, a, following saying. up that. Hold pipe on. Pipe down what over there. It was. But I got also. Jay. I got what? nothing to say. Yeah. yeah, Fuck yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> it, says, <laughs> but it also, says. I also have a fear of making like. I don't want to make anyone feel like uncomfortable. Yeah, so I would never want to make anybody uncomfortable. But like, as far as like. Especially like if I'm not 100% sure, like I won't make the first move because yeah. I don't want to make someone feel uncomfortable. That's like the worst. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 if like if shit's going to go shit. down, they got to make the first move. Or, so or, or you got to throw me a oop that I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. That you know is going to be. It says, how often is Skylar getting laid? I'm or have enough. you all with him? I think everyone assumes we all just, it's yeah, like a big orgy I'm all my the roommates. time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd fuck your roommates. Period. Same. Um, this one's also, how is the dynamic between all of you? It seems so chill and lit all the time. I always get so many, but like, like, between DMs. our house? No, just, like, like our everybody. whole group. I think it's, oh, it's a great well, dynamic. fucking open. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. talk open about literally, fuck. like, anything. So, just, like, nothing's, mm-hmm. like, you can be yourself. Nothing yeah. feels like, all right, well, you mm-hmm. don't really, like, talk about that. Whether it's, like, all right, I'm going through some shit or, like, I say some slick shit, like, all right, let's go to the back room. You know, like, yeah, you just say, like, yeah, it's like it all like, over the place. And, like, it just works. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, it does. It's a great dynamic. We click very well. It is. I need to get added to the house. 
What? Yo. Well. Well. Yeah. Well. Well. Not well, actually, but like actually. But, well. Well, and, well. We'll talk to you yeah. about that later. Uh-oh. But I guess he just got an apartment. But September, we're yeah, looking but, for a bigger house. Yeah, September, we're looking for a bigger house creators. Yeah. And we need more content creators. Nah, I'm not moving in that. Well. By that time, I'm probably gonna have my own apartment. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, I don't want to live alone. Yeah, no, same. It sounds boring. You're the one to it's talk. So VIP. <laughs> VIP. About to be rolling in a new car and shit. Big step over here. Big you see this? Up. You see this? I can't even get this yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's that VIP shit, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Anyone else have any good ones? Because I don't have any more out of pocket ones. I was gonna say, Jay. I thought you had a whole list. Of no, no. I got, I got, I, I got like valid ones, but like no more that are like. Super out of pocket. Unless you guys want to share your worst sex experience, we never. I feel like Sky did his. Yeah, the cheese grater. Sheesh. What about you? You got a bad one. You definitely got a bad one. Um, honestly, no. I think like my I think my bad one was figuring out like I cannot do skinny. So boys. you had like post not clarity. Yeah, almost. I was just like, fuck. Like I did that. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I, I was I like my brain. Shit. My brain is like. Fucked now, like I need a meathead in my life. Like, damn. She needs a meathead, y'all. Hit her up. Meathead's worth it. White at. guys, blonde. Are you said dirty blonde? Yeah, it, it's like blonde, dirty blonde. Again, that's that. I don't think that's my like type. I think that's just what I've dated. Does that mean that's my type? I don't know. Like, yeah, I type. haven't. Yeah, it's I your haven't. Type. Like, yeah, it's your type. I'm gonna you find think? you some African yeah, meathead. Like, I have. I literally have not gone on dates. Like, I don't. I don't know. Like, I haven't experiment experimented enough. I haven't gone outside of like. Well, since you cut, and I'll take you to Chipotle. <laughs> macro friendly. No, I'll some. take you. Uh, I'll take you on one for a YouTube video. Right, send, me a a country boy. send her a country boy. Send, send me a country boy. Country boy. Oh no, y'all gotta make fun of her. Yeah. Oh, don't make fun of me. Oh, fuck. Everyone's always like, okay, I I don't look country, but I like I am not a city girl. Like I would rather be a country girl than a city girl, and my looks are like completely opposite of that. I went I went through a country boy vibe. So my six year relationship was with like a truck. He like had big truck. You know? I love oh, no. country boys. Hold on, hold on, I love hold on, hold country boys. Can I hear that? Can I hear that accent again? Can yeah, yeah. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit it. <laughs> a big truck. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, country I, boys not the vibe. Oh, I love yeah. country boys. So you like country music? Uh, I'll listen to it. So I, I mean, I grew up like where I went to high school was a literal fucking farm. Like you're surrounded by. You grew up in Georgia, field. didn't you? Y'all no, so I lived in Georgia. I grew lived up Georgia. outside of Chicago. Oh. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was super. It was pretty. It was pretty country. Like that was that was all I like knew. So that's what I dated, and then I went completely opposite after that. Like completely opposite. So motherfuckers just bumping young boy and shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel like opposite, opposite would mean you're hanging out with hood niggas. <laughs> no, like that's I mean, opposite. Like, no, I mean, it, I went from that to, like, you know, not really worrying about health to just a completely, like, if you saw a picture of both of my exes, you'd be like, oh, yeah, you went real different. Like, it's completely different. Interesting. Yeah. Is it common for girls to use a massage gun as a vibrator? <laughs> That's super out of pocket. Um, I mean, I've never done it. I actually just recently bought a massage gun. Try it, Or that? I thought you were about, about, about to say a vibrator. <laughs> I know. I was like, yes, <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Well, well T recommends that it. Shit. <laughs> I picked that motherfucker Dude. one time. I said, like, <laughs> <laughs> "Your your massage gun." I didn't. No, I didn't try it. But he, we were using it. Uh, th- Okay, that sounded whoa, bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the <laughs> fuck are y'all doing with my massage gun? Hey, I don't, I don't worry about it. So <laughs> hey, Jay, run that, that shit. It's that splash. splash. Your massage gun is a lot better than mine. Let's just say that. Sheesh. You know what's uh, even better than a massage gun? Uh, not a lot of things. Fingers? Yeah. I don't know. You can't move as fast as a massage gun. Yeah, massage gun. <laughs> still be going. <laughs> yeah, but you got to hit the angles right. Once you find the bean. Oh, oh yeah. Once you find the bean. <laughs> GG's in the chat. Apparently, a lot of guys struggle. Okay. Oh, you a lot of guys well, I don't understand how so many guys I don't like struggle with it. I think Dude, I've had, I never struggle with that. I think I've had two out of my 19 actually get it right. Do so you want three? Damn. <laughs> I'll get four right here. You want four, T? <laughs> <laughs> I said five. Caleb would have joined it. We will get wicked. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Like, it's, it's not like, that hard. I don't think it's hard at all. I don't think so either. My vibrator so. can find it just I feel fine. Like, I feel like men, <laughs> men just think, no men think exactly. they're doing things right sometimes. And like we're too, just, we're too like, we're not going to always say yeah, things. Yeah, you got to like speak up. It. You yeah. don't even, it's just like for all my guys listening oh. out there, like if you can't figure it out, this say this is what we're looking for. The thing what we need is up here. Yeah. If you just start rubbing it different That's areas, what they fucking yeah. yeah. do. What, 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 hear me out. God damn it. I'm trying to help these niggas out, man, because they're struggling. Sorry. Wait until you see her body language change. Yeah. Because you'll hit a certain spot and you'll know, and you just keep doing that. 
And yep. then you find your shit. It also feels different too. So I don't know what the fuck y'all niggas <laughs> looking for. <laughs> yeah, I know. Rubbing gooch in like side walls and shit. That's not the move. Yo, too. My first ex, I always did like that thing. And then like the moment What's you it? find it, where, like where, where she says that guy's, you're, where you're guys like you're down rub? there. Yeah. But the moment I, I found it, like, <laughs> <laughs> no. But the moment you find it, the body language fucking changes. Yeah, and like, and you, you know, get on that motherfucking heart. Yeah. You know, it's you like should, you found what you needed. You found the fucking sweet spot. If they go <laughs> stiff, you're doing it right. That's all it is. Also, shortness of breath. Like, bro. Yeah. yeah. I don't understand. Like, how it's like, bro, are you an idiot? Like, it's not. That's not that Watch hard. a YouTube video got, or something. Yeah, bro. Search that shit on the hub or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can how to make a girl squirt. Go, go. <laughs> Jeez. Don't let your parents find out. Uh, who's listening? Maybe ask your parents. <laughs> Honestly, who's Good fucking question. listening? Good question. Great question. Who's making it this far? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah 11, I've never 11 year old that. boys. Like, I see girls, girls that have me on like a close friend's post shit like that all the fucking time. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like, it's like, damn, like, it's not rocket science. No, it's not. Like, it, it, it's literally like, I don't, I don't understand. You're not using the but maybe, it, maybe it's on the girl's the fault. Fucking square root oh, God, of a triangle. Bro, like. Carry over to one, divide by two. <laughs> the girl's fault. Factor in for the barometric pressure. The girl's the fault. Yeah, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, y'all gotta talk. That's, I get, that's, no, I would agree. It's, it's a part for sure. Like, yeah, you got to talk. Sure. That's that shit be agree. pissing me off like hard Definitely. sometimes. Because it's just like, it's like for a guy, it's obviously easy. Like, yeah. You, you just, it's but like girl, it's, it's a little more. Yeah. Okay, well, it's, yeah it's, very it's a little more like technical. So if like motherfuckers just be out there fighting for their life. Like, that's true. Just be, whew, all right, let's try this. Huh? Nothing? Like, yeah. you just be like, you just got to, like, trust body language. Especially, like, it's different if you're in a relationship. You really get to know someone's body. And then yeah. that, that's, like, that's, that's where it's super different. And then you go from different. that, and then you're like, uh, you don't know how to act almost. Like, sometimes yeah. when you go from a long-term relationship where you know that person's body, you know exactly what, like, gets them. And then you're like, fuck. Mm -hmm. I heard yeah. that. All right, this is going to make me sound like douchebag, but I also love the part of figuring it out. Like that doesn't, you don't girl, sound you like like that doesn't, shit. Yeah, it's right. like, all right, let me figure out. Like, I get to try shit, and then like, you find it, it's like, yep. Every girl's, every girl's different. It's like a treasure hunt, huh? Yeah, but like the worst, <laughs> the, the worst, the worst treasure chest. Yeah. <laughs> the, wor the worst hunt. in my experience is when you're doing it and you're like, you're not hundred percent sure if she's close. You're not really talking. Uh, you're just like, yeah. it's like, well, I'm just gonna wait till things get a little wetter. A little but I mean, you there. could ask too. Yeah, but, but what if like they you gotta be, you gotta be smart at least. Like it goes I'm, both. I'm ways. not like a big. I'm not really that big in talking. But like oh. you don't, you don't, you don't ask. You yeah. just tell. Like big ick. Do like, you like that? No, no, Do I you know like you. It? You say I know. <laughs> okay, that's like, better. I know you like that shit. Don't fucking talk ask me if shit. I like it. Nah, I'd be like, yeah, I know you like that shit. <laughs> talk, you, gotta, you gotta talk with a baseline voice. You wanna call you daddy, you gotta act like daddy. You feel me? Don't be asking. Period. Oh, does that feel good? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my How god. About this feel good, love? How about this love? Not the move. Not the move. Not the move at all. I immediately get dry if a guy asks me if I liked it. <laughs> And yeah. There's been many. Yeah, you like that shit. <laughs> Ew, I hate that. Tea's dried up now. Major ick. Have you had a guy say that? Like, or I've had half of my half of the guys I've slept with. Fellas, yeah. what are we doing? Oh, no. What kind of operations are we running? And they've been with mul service. they all have been with multiple women too. So I'm sure they did the same thing. Yeah, I don't know if I think the only thing I could have a girl saying it'd be like. She called me the N-word. I'd be like, yo, like, yeah, give me that nigger dick. I'd be like, oh, my oh God, my what are we God. doing here? I'd be like, what are we doing Wait, here? are you saying you would like that? No. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what are we doing? Yeah, I'm like, shit, baby, let's play escape slave and master the wife. Ooh, I, I'm in the house tonight, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> master ain't never going to feel the same, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I said, I said, you's gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> I can. <laughs> I just stand up for that one. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna end on. There's two questions that I, I want to ask on here that are a little bit <laughs> a little bit more serious. Do you love yourself? Hell yeah, I do. Why? Seeing how far I've come, what I've built, and who I've become, I just love who it who it is. Like comparing myself to who I once was, where I like literally hated myself and just like being alive. It was like now comparing to that, just seeing how far I've come. Love myself. I think I'm cute too. At least some cute of nigga shit. <laughs> I love that for you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> cute nigga. <laughs> um, yeah, hundred percent. Um, I think that I, you kind of you should ask me that first. You kind of stole that, but yeah. Yeah, copy me. 
Yeah, no, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to copy you. Swagger so, jacking. <laughs> no, I feel like. VIP. Yeah, watching watching yourself grow is probably the coolest thing ever. Uh, something that I'm trying to teach myself this year is to like actually be present. Um, I'm always planning and trying to be better in every way that I've been missing a lot of what I'm experiencing. I think competing taught me that. Like you get on stage and then you get off stage and you're like, holy fuck, I just shredded for 16 or 18 weeks and it's over in two seconds. Like, was I present? Um, so yeah, I mean, for that, I think that's why I'm just, I love myself. I'm super proud of what I've done and there's so much more to come. Yep. Yeah. I'd say I'd love myself. I like, I don't, especially from where I've came from to now, like where I'm at and then where I'm going. Uh, there's definitely times where I get like down on myself, like, bro, you're a bitch, you're not doing enough. Even though, like, if I were to tell someone what I did that day, they'd be like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? But, like, sometimes I get blinded. You know, you get like super locked in, and you don't yeah. realize the progress that you're making until someone that's completely objective, maybe you haven't talked to them in a while, the objective view looks at you like, bro, you're fucking killing the game. Yeah, especially like someone from like your hometown or like that was there in the beginning. Like they see how far you've come. It's like, bro, like, especially oh you, because you've come a long ass way. It's like, oh my God, bro, you're fucking killing yeah. it, bro. That's why it's good to go home. Like, it's like when I go home, like for holidays, so like Thanksgiving, I went to actually like home, home, Chicago. And being there and like seeing everything, like mm -hmm. you're like, holy. You be feeling fuck. like the man. You be yeah, like, yeah, you be walking like, around. Like I'm feeling like the man hero. when I walk through. You know, that's yeah. how I feel in the gym. Cause like I used to walk around like I was the shit. Yeah. And I'm way fucking. Everyone's all like, holy fuck, mm -hmm. bro. They're like, whoa, like, drugs. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like I used to walk around like I own this bitch. I was like, shit. Now, last time I checked, I was the man on these yeah. streets. But you know then you, you you also see that the people who are there look the fucking same yes and they haven't changed and it's scary like i get to a point where i can't be home too long because i'm like i gotta get out of this cycle like it's that's, yeah the, that's one of my fears yeah, that's, what, just that's like why like, like that mm -hmm. yeah that's why you gotta be like you gotta push yourself you want to see how successful you are you gotta look at your friends because like there's a lot of people like that i'm not as close with and it's like the motherfuckers are still doing the same shit yeah, yeah. friends not, and like they're not they're not on to like bigger and better like, you know what i'm saying it's just yeah. like you gotta re like if you're not having like good conversations with like people that you're close with on on like ideas or trying to bring shit to life or like i right, all right, let's get a little side hustle going. That way yeah. we can, like, let's use this side hustle to fund, like, this business that we're going to start. Mm -hmm. That way we don't have to take anything out of our, like, you're not having good conversations or even for us, like, content or, like, all right, bro, let's plan out this trip. Then, like, yeah, you can have your fuck around conversations, but if you aren't having these good conversations, you need to reconsider your friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, too, like, especially hometown, like, they're so scared of change. Like, they're scared to yeah. put themselves out or, like, go under pressure, something like that. Yeah. So it's like they want to stay in that comfort zone. Mm -hmm. and that's all they get stuck into. But now we ask the main question to T, do you love yourself? I think I'm getting there. I think I'm finally getting to that point. I think um, years of toxic relationships and toxic, I mean, I was in a toxic place for a long ass time. I think I'm finally in the place where I need to be and I'm finally surrounded by the people I need to be with. Mm -hmm. So I would definitely say I've grown over the past five months more than I have in the past fucking 10 years. Mm. Um but I also want people to realize that it doesn't matter how many hundreds of thousands of followers you have. It doesn't matter how many, like, uh, it doesn't matter that how hard you're putting yourself out there. Doesn't mean you're always going to be 100% happy. Doesn't mean you love yourself. Doesn't mean um, things are 100% okay at home. Um, yeah. Even though I have hundreds of thousands of followers and all that stuff, I still sometimes feel alone and that's okay. Somebody was just talking yeah. to me too the other day in, in the gym and they're like, they were listening to one of the podcasts that we did with Jay. It was, like, where we talked about, like, mental health and shit. And uh, he was saying, like, it, it, it shocked him because, like, we project such happiness or, like, yeah. good things. It's, like, we're putting the highlights of our life. Yes. Like, he would never have thought that we were in that position or, like, a position that he's in right now. Like, going through something like that. But, yeah, we want that. It's like, so and important. And we still do go through it's it. So it's so like, important to realize that social media is literally only a highlight, highlight. reel. Mm -hmm. We don't yeah. highlight our bad times. No. I mean, it's good to talk most about it. Don't. but most Yeah, of yeah most, most of us don't. don't but yeah. I so. mean, going, even going back, I mean, you're not from here, right? No, I'm from Iowa. Yeah, none so, of us are from here. You're none of us, no. right? Okay, so that's the. Well, I would say, like, for all of you guys listening to this, that's the biggest thing. You get have out of to get the fuck get out, out of yes. your hometown. Get like, the fuck I have out of not. There. I would never have grown if I didn't move mm -hmm. it out of that hometown and just trust myself. Like, you know, even when I moved to Atlanta, like, I moved into the city. I did not have the money to afford the apartment. Like, yeah. I kind of was like, all right, I bet on myself. I was like, you're gonna figure this fucking out. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you don't. Where are you gonna go, dude? Yeah, like, bet on yourself even when it's risky you know what yeah I'm so yeah 100 get out of your fucking hometown just take a chance on yourself believe in yourself it's not going to be easy but it's worth it it's gotta be comfortable getting i will say uncomfortable, that's for sure. i've lived with you for the last five months and seeing you from whenever we first moved into now it's like you've grown a lot i'd yeah. say like you're getting so much closer to like that self-love 100 percent. yeah and it's good to see yeah 
That's you my make bestie. me cry. You know what I'm saying? That's my bestie. <laughs> Yo, she's my best friend. Yeah. All right, and our final question. Is there a goal that you guys want to achieve that you haven't been able to reach yet? Yes. What is it? Uh, full-time YouTube. Okay. So what is that? What is that intent? Like, what is... So what are the steps that you're going to take? Or, like, what do you think is the problem that's been holding, holding you back? Uh, not posting enough. So I need to post more, like, trying to find, like, different things that are going to work. Because, like, I, I, I love to do, like, the vlog style. But obviously, like, trying to break out into the vlog style right off the bat is a lot harder than doing, like, a themed, niched video. So it's, like, I'd rather stick to that. And then if one of those blew up, because it's, like, that's what I love to do. Rather than if I tried a different style, it's, like, can you maintain that if that blew up? Because that's what people are going to follow you for. So it's, like... Just like taking those steps of just, you know, keep doing what I'm doing, uh, like filming, editing, stuff like that. And, you know, just like trusting the process. Because, like, I have the other things that my other income streams that support me outside of that to where I'm not relying on that. But it's just doing those steps. Valid. Yeah. Uh, I don't – honestly, this is something I've actually been struggling with lately because, like, everything within a six-month period so much changed for me and, like, a success-wise that – I achieved all these things I kind of put out and then it all like happened. And then I kind of like, ran I kind of like of goals. What? Like ran out of goals. You're like, all right, I yeah. did what I, I thought was going to take away longer. Like, all right, what do I do now? Right. Like almost I like I the achieved, content, like, yeah, I achieved yeah, so I much. And then like, you know, I didn't come from money. So, you know, making what I make now, it's like, I realize, you know, money's not everything. Money gives me freedom, but it's not everything, and it does not make anyone happy. And so. 100%. I feel that's so hard. Yeah. 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 I like, literally was fucking. Two and a half years ago, living in a sorority closet, and then like homeless, I was like, I make pretty pretty good money. Even yeah. though we wear rep shoes, I guarantee you. What does rep shoes mean? What does that They're mean? not the real. I don't know. You like the oh, fucking fuck same. Off. They're probably made in the same fucking. Who fuck cares? Oh, yeah. Fuck them. You can yeah. eat my ass if you got yeah. pairs. <laughs> you mad at shoes. me? You mad at God? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, honestly, I think that's like the big. That's that's where I struggle. You so know? you don't have any goal right now that you haven't achieved yet. You I haven't set a new one. I, I have a board, um, but it's very, it's like very small, like small goals that'll lead to it. Yeah, to the big small goals, goals lead up to the like big what? goals. Like what? Like, give me like an example. Are you talking just like, like a routine like thing? Have, like, all right, in the morning, no, or no. read a page of a book every day. Like, shit I like have, that. I have financial goals, I have personal goals, and I have like business goals. Um, and so, like, business goals, it's like, you know, averaging a certain amount of clients, you know, every single month, um, bringing on multiple coaches, you know, financial is of course increasing, you know, what I already have yeah. coming in, making sure I'm building, you know, a certain savings account outside of it. If all of this was to fall tomorrow. Um, you know, personal is yeah. Reading, reading a book a month. I've actually upped that to two books a month. Damn, good for you. Um, and then yeah, being more present. That was a really big one for me this year, just cause I think I, everything's happened so fast that I'm like, holy shit, how do I slow down? But also having a camera always and recording all this, I you out of the moment. I, I forget yes, but I also forget that it allows me to go back and for me to watch that, and also for my children and my children's yep. children. So it's like there's a high and a low to it. So it's finding that balance. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. I don't really have a direct answer. But so I wanted to start YouTube. So I just like look back on it one day. Yeah, I get to go back and re and you know kind of relive these moments. And yeah. it's like yeah, maybe some I haven't been present in, but at the end of the day, like, I have my life documented. Like, all of these amazing things that I've experienced over the past You're year Coming to half, Dallas, you know. It's up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. New vlog so coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> like fit, you know, type of shit. But yeah. yeah. Um, now, like, my favorite YouTuber is, like, Roman Atwood. Like, I don't oh, know. I love Roman. People watching are probably, are you familiar with him? Yeah. So, like, I've watched his fucking kids grow up yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, so, that's like, the coolest he has thing. has that, and, mm -hmm. like, to look back, like, that's just, like, that's fucking, like, priceless. What about, like, uh, Matt Does Fitness? You ever watch him? I love oh, him. Yeah. Yeah. I love him. Like, watching uh, his son, Luca. Luca, like, Luca. yeah. Watch him that grow cute up. little nigga. He's yeah. So now cute. he's got another child, too. It's, like, that's the coolest thing to sit there and watch as, like, a, a viewer. Yeah. Like, somebody else's life Someone's just progress. Grow with that. Yeah. That's why you guys got to post and show, like, you got to tap into, like, your life. Yeah. Yeah, me and you, Jay. Tea. People are yeah, hard. Figure it yeah, out. y'all too. We'll figure it out. I, I ain't shit. Me and Kayla got it. A goal for <laughs> sure do. that I haven't accomplished um, is it getting the YouTube popping. Yeah. I want to start a business, uh, whether it's like clothing brand or so, whatever yeah, what it business? is. Uh, something, something like that. Something a little bit more sustainable and something that I can scale. Yeah. Because as an athlete, you can only scale so much. Like, mm -hmm. you, you're, you're, you're limited. At the end of the day, yeah. you're still not the man. Uh Get a get my dream car, which hopefully should be coming soon. That'd be and then awesome. uh, like going pro, like that's like the the one that I'm like most focused on right yeah. now. It's like all right, I need to get that fucking pro car. Said I was gonna do it, so I'm gonna do it. You're gonna do it. I gotta say, hey, if I say I'm something, I gotta be that something. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I gotta prove it to myself. I think that's actually really good. Like you want to set like an aside business for like longevity. 
is like now I'm starting to try to get into that too, like a clothing thing. Because like yeah. you gotta think long term, because you can only do so much. Yeah, as like or an even athlete. like, yep. or even just having like side hustles, like yeah. tapping. Like I've tapped into crypto a little bit. Yeah, if I looked at my phone right now, I'd probably throw. Oh, it. I would. Do, don't do <laughs> it. Don't do it. It's it's Bro, awful. Anyone in crypto knows exactly what we're talking about. Well, I'm in L.A. Point. I look and my fucking heart sank to the. Oh, oh, yeah, my, oh my god! god. It's like I, I should have double the bag that I have right now, and it's like oh fuck. I was like, I could, I could have pulled. I'm if it was like, high, I would have pulled some of that for my down payment. But I'm no, down like two not, thirds. Not happening. But those are all like the, like the immediate ones. And I'm trying to. I keep telling myself, especially looking at this motherfucker right here. She be getting up early and shit. Solid as morning routine. I be getting out of bed whenever I get out of bed. What and time are you waking up? Uh, I just get up at six fifteen. Like that was my thing for this year. Get up at six fifteen during the work and uh, during the week. And it honestly, like I used to say the same thing. It's be like, ugh, gross. But it I, sets you up for success yo, for the like, whole day. I, the amount of shit I get done before all y'all are fucking even up is yes. ridiculous. But uh, but my counter argument is you're sleeping and I'm working. In the yeah. same sense that I'm sleeping and you're working. Yeah. If I'm working late, like because I I do most of my shit at night. Mm. Yeah. There's sleep, the time I do all my shit at night. Relaxing. So like I get like that mindset, but at the same time, there's a counter. It. To it, because it's just like yeah. I mean, I guess it's just it's finding a, it's just find what works for you, right? Like, like, like when you're most productive. Yeah, that that's all it is. Like I used to be super productive at night. Now that's not the case. Like I really like getting up in the morning. I enjoy being up before the sun, reading, walking, doing emails, and then going about my day. Like it just makes it easier for me. Yes, I'm a fucking grandma and I'm in bed early, but I know that I'm gonna get up on time. My bed's gonna be made, and everything Dude, is. Gonna I am just convinced we are the same person. Good. Um, you're convinced. All right, Grandma, calm I am down. Convinced. See you guys. See, I want to go to bed at like 9 p.m. Skylar's up to like 2 a.m. going to bed. I'm getting oh, up at 5 Okay, but like my most out. productive hours are 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. That's when I get the most shit done. But you can't. Yeah, but just, then that's that's okay. As long as, yeah, as, it's as long okay. As you're but it's productive just like, outside of that too, though. Like you could still be like for like what we do. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Then you're good. Like you're I'm good. not on my phone or anything. I'm focused on what I'm trying yeah. to get done. It'd be different if you were running like a business that was open from yeah to fucking four. Well, <laughs> yeah. your ass got to be up early. You can't yeah. be grinding that shit out. Yeah, no. Life. Yeah, no. You got to find what works best for you. Hey, Bestie, you got a, you got a goal that yeah, you've reached that you want to accomplish? Well, I, I I just accomplished mine that I didn't think I would accomplish for, like, fucking years, being a full-time influencer. Let's go. So, <laughs> but, I mean, we all have our small, like, our, like, yeah. if you should live with um, content creators, fitness influencers, because our house has, like, a whole monthly chalkboard. That's just them. The well, well <laughs> we have a, it's well, so nice, no, though, but like, having your monthly goals and, and then, then we you have, have your year yearly goal. goals. Yeah. And it's, like, looking at them and, like, being able to, like, check them off. I mean, I have tons of monthly goals. I have yeah. tons of, but my biggest goal overall, and, well, I have two, was being a full-time fitness influencer and then just finally being able to focus on, like, my dream physique because I've never been able to focus on that being a nurse and, like, which you can get your dream physique being a nurse. I've shown that to people, but I have never been able to fully focus on it. Um, so yeah, that's hard. Yeah. Doing that like three days on. And yeah. Hour my shift. workout mm-hmm. schedule, my eating schedule was fucking off. Let alone yeah, your bro, stress like, is so high. Your yeah. Sleep yeah. Is like it's yeah. just not possible. Cortisol yeah. to the roof. Yeah. 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 Like now I'd be fucking lazy as fuck. I, I pay for fucking meal prep. I was like, bro, I got, when I had my crazy natural transformation, I was fucking a manager at Walgreens and going to school part time. Yeah. Damn. I'm the worst student you'll ever meet in your fucking <laughs> <laughs> like, like awful, awful school. And I was like, bro, how the fuck was I doing that shit? Yeah. But I will say. Not to go on, like, a tangent, bro, I remember, like, I used to get off of fucking work. Like, I'd be at working at Walgreens. Whether I opened, I was there at 5.30, uh, or, like, I was there, like, midday, and I'd get off, and I would be driving to the gym, and I'd be so happy that I finally got to work out. And I'm not going to lie, being a fitness influencer, I, I, like, I've lost that. Like, I don't get yeah. that same, like, like I, I, in my car, like, let's fucking go. Like, I'm yeah. so hyped to go fucking lift. No pre-workout in me, just all fucking. <laughs> yeah. The fucking will of my fucking life. Just that's that. why you need a routine. You're, hey, we're hitting the gym now. Just me. Like, when you get a routine, it you get that, like, fuck yeah, like, I get to go work out now. Like, you set your times of when you're just kind of going to work briefly, um, and then you you have that time where, hey, I'm going to go work out today. Like, that's, that's why. It's because you don't have a schedule. So it's like, even Maybe if you gave is. yourself, like, a slight schedule. So, like, me on the weekends – I give myself a free weekend. Like I don't, I don't require myself to post on the weekends. I don't require myself to do things. So like when I get to the weekend, it feels like a fucking weekend. So like that is what something I've implemented that helps so much that way you have that excitement for those things. Otherwise you're in a, you're just in this circle and you're like, what the fuck am I doing? So set a routine. The fuck is we doing? doing? (laughs) All right, Kayla, you're new here, but when we end the podcast, we like to have everyone say a little message to the world. Mm. If you want to go second to last, you can go second to last. But, Sky, we're going to start off with you, man. What's the message to the people? Yeah, we'll start off with T. Ladies first. Fuck, I don't know. <sighs> Come on, motherfuckers. Y'all knew this shit was coming. <laughs> I, I, forgot, I forgot about this. I'm not going to lie. Damn it. Come on. 
I go last. That's fuck. No, I had a really good one. Come on, Team, just can you tell, go the first? Pe- tell the people something. You can tell them go fuck themselves. You can say whatever you want. Man. No, I had a, uh, <laughs> no, fuck! Oh, I can't think of it right now. Give me oh a second. Oh my god, what are we doing here? Uh, oh, oh, wait! No, I forgot again. My head. hold on. Love yourself, cause nobody. No, I was not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I got one. I got one. I got one. Uh, come on. <laughs> Dreams don't work unless you do. There you go. I'll Your goals it. don't give a and, fuck and if you're tired either. You're supposed to say where you. Can oh, but you go. last night. You're oh, fucking oh, tired, yeah, and you want to want to do something. Okay, okay. You're, okay sorry, so sorry, sorry. You said yours. Where can I find you? <laughs> at uh, at Skylar Reeves on. Uh, Instagram, YouTube, or Shirley Roofs on TikTok. All right, Trixie, you're up. I said your goals don't care if you're tired. Okay. Yeah, we heard you. Working, oh, working. at Trixie19 everywhere. Type shit. That's three <laughs> X's. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> <laughs> um, something I always say is believe in yourself, but it's half the damn battle. True. Mm. That's a good one. Period. Yeah. Where can they find you? Uh, at Kalo Fit across with an all o. socials. Yeah, Kalo. Kalo. Well, mine is, I don't know who needs to hear this, but you need to look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you're being a bitch because ain't nobody coming to fucking save you. So if you can't do it for you, then that shit ain't never going to fucking happen. You guys already know it's not that deep. (laughs) It's not that deep. Stand up. I appreciate all y'all. Are y'all hard too? I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to get made fun of. (laughs) 